Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. This episode we're going to uh, look at the next stages of our laser uh, cutter build, engraver cutter. So in the last episode we looked at, uh, we had the uh, Y gantry in place, which was this piece. We've now printed and I fabbed the, uh, the X gantry and I kind of readjust this so you can kind of see. So I built this, this, this slotted gantry. I modified this from the original version uh, to fit like this. And then from Thingiverse I picked up a laser holder which will mount here. And because of the grooves in this, <laughs> excuse me, in this matching with these holes, I'll be able to adjust this up and down. And then what will happen is the laser itself, here's the laser heat sink, I have the laser out of it right now. It will fit in here so I can adjust it this way as well as this way so I can I can really get some fine tuning if you will. Like I say in a future version I think I am going to do an automated Z gantry uh, for focusing but that will come in the future as another hobby project or whatever. But this is the way it will go together. Again the motors will sit on here. Notice that the, the motor, the uh, Molex plug for the motors We'll place these to the back, so what will happen is the wires will face to the back. We're going to build um, a plastic, uh, you know, mill it out on the CNC to mount the power supply and all the, the controls back here, so the wires will run to the back. And then the, uh, the uh, X gantry, so, so as this, it'll all, all the wires will run back here. We do have some wire management pieces that we'll insert. Um, in here, so obviously can't go up on top here because it's will be moving. So they'll probably go in the bottom of this rail, as well as uh, in some of the back pieces here that they'll just twist and, and pop in here and handle some of the wire management. Also, when I machine the m mounting for the electronics, I'm going to build some wire management into the uh, sheet good, which will go on the back here for one of the wire management. And again, this will be the front of the machine. I'm standing to the back, and again, we'll put this on here like this. Um, I did this this in blue actually, just to be set off the color a little bit and, and prototype it. And I've got a lot of blue uh, done because this I'm going to probably have to end up reworking too. I, I'm not totally happy with the way it came out, um, but for right now and getting the project moving, you know, we'll we'll just use this one because um, it, it, it'll work just cosmetically not where I'd like it to be. I did also reinforce some of the gussets with JB Weld here just FYI. I don't know how much torque it'll take but again I didn't want to have to go through and, and because this is a big vertical surface area as you can kind of see here uh, you know to deal with the, the, the torque. Again the laser is not, not that heavy um, you know, so I, I don't anticipate a big problem with the weight, and there's obviously no force like a CNC mill would have coming in contact with the material. But still, at the end of the day, the contact surface area down here, even though I did gusset it, uh, is rather uh, light. So again, I didn't want to have to worry about that, so I just, again, did the fillets with JB Weld. The stuff is like magic, the 15-minute JB Weld. Um, the other thing, we started putting the belt clips on. You know, kind of notice that that the 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 axis has to be on the bell clips because once you put those on, it's not going to come back off. You know, because obviously it's going to run up and hit hit the bell clips. Um, they're short of it, and so that that's pretty much set. So we have that in place. We'll put the end clips in for the belts, and we'll string the belts uh, a little bit later. Uh, you know, the next step, we'll, we'll start putting in the flags for the limit switch and the limit switch holders uh, on here. Uh, because, as, as I probably could get ahead of myself a little bit, because I have to take one of these off to slide in the uh, the T nuts for this. So again, I got a little ahead of myself. Also, notice that the motors I haven't mounted, mounted the motors yet. That'll come near last once I've got all the plastic pieces bolted on. Um, it just make it easier. And then we have these uh, hold downs, which will go on the 
Y axis to lock the belts in place like that. So, uh, and I think actually they'll go down on this side to lock the belts in place for this, just so you kind of have an idea. And then we'll put that all together. I want to get all the plastic pieces bolted on uh, or as much as possible before I start with the motors. You know, actually, if you printed all the pieces in advance, which I did, um, and you went to assemble it and you had the time to devote to it, you could probably build this whole thing easily within a Saturday. It's actually very simplistic, and that's what sort of the beauty is about it. And one of the reasons I wanted to do this um, build, because again, uh, and part of my experimentation is I would like to do a PCB milling machine or even a PCB laser, a smaller one than this. Um, and so I thought it would be interesting to, you know, experiment with this, and if this all works out, I could build others in kind of similar nature because the uh, uh, outside of a cutter, also having a large, you could also put a gantry on here for a 3D printer. And so you could have a big surface 3D printer because that is one of the other things that uh, is on my project list is to build a 3D printer with a, with a very large surface area. Um, I'm going to use PLA so I don't have to worry about the heated bed aspect. Uh, however, I want to be able to print rather large objects. Um, and so having a footprint like this I thought would be interesting. So. Anyways, this is where we're at with the laser build. Keep checking back. Um, hopefully over the next couple videos we'll get it together. I'm probably going to run a test on the CNC laser um, on my CNC machine. I, I have a Probotic Fireball V90, one of the first generation. So I do want to do some stuff with that, some modifications with regards to uh, spindle control net. So it's kind of a just interesting sidebar. And I'm just dying to see the laser cut something in a computerized fashion. So. Uh, that might be a quick way to do it. Anyways, cheers and see you in the next video.